Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today, we'll talk about the general data protection regulation in the context of clinical research. More after the intro. Welcome to the GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. As the world becomes increasingly digital, the protection of personal data has become a high priority. This is especially true in the field of clinical research where sensitive patient data is often needed. Understanding the General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR, and its implications on clinical research is therefore crucial for those involved in this field. Let us start with understanding General Data Protection Regulation. The GDPR is a set of rules introduced by the European Union in 2018 to protect the privacy and personal data of EU citizens. It replaced the outdated Data Protection Directive from 1995 and was designed to harmonize data privacy laws across Europe, protect individuals' privacy rights, and reshape the way organizations handle personal data. The key principles of GDPR include lawfulness, fairness, transparency, accuracy, storage limitation, integrity and confidentiality, and accountability. What is the intersection of GDPR and clinical research? In clinical research, personal data, such as medical histories, genetic information, or lifestyle habits, is often collected from patients or test subjects. As such, Clinical researchers have a responsibility to protect this data and respect individuals' privacy rights. This is where GDPR comes into play, enforcing strict rules about how this personal data should be managed. Key GDPR Requirements for Clinical Research Among the most relevant GDPR requirements for clinical research are 1. Consent Patients and test subjects must give explicit consent for their data to be used in research. This consent must be informed, specific, and freely given. 2. Data minimization and purpose limitation. Only the minimum necessary data should be collected, and it should only be used for the purpose for which it was collected. 3. Rights of data subjects. Individuals have the right to access their data correct inaccuracies, and even request deletion in certain circumstances. 4. Data Protection Impact Assessments Organizations must conduct assessments to understand and mitigate the risks associated with data processing. What is the impact of GDPR on clinical research? GDPR has significantly changed the landscape of clinical research. It has led to stricter protocols about data collection and storage, and increased transparency with patients about how their data is used. These changes present both challenges and opportunities for researchers. On one hand, they may face additional administrative burdens and potential difficulties in obtaining consent. On the other, these changes could lead to increased trust and participation from the public as they can be confident that their personal data will be handled responsibly. As the world becomes increasingly digital, the protection of personal data has become a high priority. This is especially true in the field of clinical research where sensitive patient data is often needed. Understanding the General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR, and its implications on clinical research is therefore crucial for those involved in this field. Let us start with understanding general data protection regulation. The GDPR is a set of rules introduced by the European Union in 2018 to protect the privacy and personal data of EU citizens. It replaced the outdated Data Protection Directive from 1995 and was designed to harmonize data privacy laws across Europe, protect individuals' privacy rights, and reshape the way organizations handle personal data. The key principles of GDPR include lawfulness, fairness, transparency, accuracy, storage limitation, integrity and confidentiality, and accountability. To ensure GDPR compliance in clinical research, 
Researchers should familiarize themselves with the regulations requirements and seek legal advice when necessary. Various resources and tools are available online, including guidance documents from the European Data Protection Board and training modules from various academic institutions. In conclusion, understanding GDPR in the context of clinical research is essential for today's researchers. While it presents some challenges, it also offers opportunities for increased transparency and trust with patients. As we move forward, GDPR compliance will continue to be a key aspect of conducting ethical and responsible research. So, whether you're a seasoned researcher or just starting out, take some time to understand GDPR and its implications in your work. It's not just about compliance. It's about respecting and protecting the rights of the individuals whose data we use to advance medical science. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research. We look forward to see you next time.